New at noon, two teens arrested for a deadly shooting faced a judge for the first time today. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman was there and explains the charges they're facing. Taking into consideration the severity of the charges, it was really no surprise the judge ordered both suspects to remain here at the Orange County Jail. Now today we've been going through new details of what led up to yesterday's shooting and why the suspects turned themselves in to police. Um, he is in high school currently. He's a, he's a senior. The issue of age was brought up as Jaquan Glover appeared before a judge for the first time. Both he and Willie Eckford are just 18 years old and they both face charges of first degree murder and carjacking. Police say Glover and Eckford knew the victim, 25 year old Joseph Hepburn. His friends posting these images on Facebook after learning he was gunned down Thursday morning. According to the arrest affidavit, Hepburn picked up the two suspects from a hotel. That's when a witness says they got into an argument with the victim, accusing him of stealing from their room. That argument ending near the intersection of Tampa Avenue and Bentley Street, where the witness says Glover hit the victim before Eckford opened fire, taking his life. Police say Eckford fired another shot at the witness while he ran away. Then both suspects are accused of stealing the victim's car. It was less than two hours later when the suspects turned themselves in to police. Eckford telling investigators he shot in self-defense, but detectives say that contradicts the evidence, as well as statements from the witness and from Glover. While both suspects face similar charges, police acknowledge that Glover was not the gunman in this case. That's something that was briefly discussed in this morning's first appearance, a judge saying he can revisit the issue of bond at a later court hearing. At the Orange County Jail, Mark Lehman, News 6.